It's April 30th, and I wonder whether the weather will be warm. And I am amped to help the animals. DP News starts now. International Day is this Friday in the Greek. Classes will be slightly shortened for the extended lunch period where there will be tons of delicious foods hosted by the clubs around school and some fun entertainment from teachers as they perform the annual teacher air events. So be sure to bring some money on Friday for all the festivities. Volunteers are needed ASAP for the Animal Shelter Assistance Program. So you can sell raffle tickets or run a dessert booth at their May 17th anniversary party in Summerlin. Help save some animals and have some fun at the same time. Contact information is on dpnews.org. The SBCC math assessment test for stats or calculus will be this Friday in the cafeteria at 2 p.m., not 8 a.m. Sorry for the confusion there. There will be another opportunity on May 16th at 2 p.m. in the cafeteria. See Mr. Sofro to sign up. Mary Poppins is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7, and there will be a matinee show on Saturday at 2. Tickets are $10 for students and $12 for general admission. So buy your tickets today at dpnews.org or go to the box office located in the EPAC. Remember, the show sold out last weekend, so hurry up now. Speaking of tickets, prom tickets are now on sale through May 9th outside the athletics office at lunch. Ticket prices are $60 to $75, and the line is still reasonable. But if you wait, you will be sorry. So buy today. The After Prom is an event full of Beats, iPads, gift cards, Texas Hold'em, and cold hard cash. Tickets are now $20, but there is still benefit for buying early. When you buy your After Prom ticket this week, you are entered more times into the final drawings for big prizes. After Prom will be at the UCSB Hub from 12 to 4.30 a.m. Anyone interested in running for senior class office, today there is a meeting in T3 at lunch. And for all students interested in running for class office, there's a mandatory meeting tomorrow in P2 at lunch. Make sure your petitions are signed and your oaths are filled out. They will not be accepted late. Seniors, if you are interested in giving a graduation speech, you can go see Ms. Rehage for more information on how to do so. Congratulations to DP Stellar Econ Challenge Team. Adam Day, Nick Katzer, Brian Sue, Andrew Yang, Andrew Sumner, and Dustin Oaks finished in 8th place in the nation as California state champions. They competed against the state champs of 34 other states and finished in the Elite Eight in a very tight competition. Sears, KFC, and El Capitan Park all have paid jobs for students this summer. Go to the Career Center for more information on how to apply. Clubs meeting today are Baking for a Cause Club, Interact Club, Spanish Club, Junior Classical League Latin Club, Catholic Club, Indian Culture Club, Debate Club, Local Colors Club, DECA Club, Paint Club, Ceramics Club, Sailing Club, Environmental Club, Tea Aroma Club, Students Aiding and Volunteering the Earth, Theater Company, Friday Night Live, Virtual Enterprise, Good Food Club, Young Life, and Humanitarian Club. Today is Juliet Davis's 15th birthday. Happy birthday, Juliet. We all hope your dreams come true. That's all for today. I'm Kira. And I'm Dallas. Here's Jessica with the weather. DP, it's Jessica, and I've got your weather forecast for this week. Today's high will be a whopping 86 degrees. Thursday will be keeping up with this hot streak with a high of 82 degrees. A good day to break out those new summer and spring dresses. Friday, we will end the week with slight clouds and a nice comfy temperature of 82 degrees, perfect for International Day. This lovely Saturday will be at about 76 degrees by noon, and finally, the sun will heat our little town to a pleasant 70 degrees. And that was your weather for this week. Here comes Nate with sports news. Good morning, guys. I'm Nathan. There's lots of exciting news today regarding tennis, baseball, and volleyball, so let's get to it. Our Chargers tennis team are channel champs for the first time since 1975. On Tuesday, our number eight Chargers defeated the visiting team of Ventura High School 17-1, ending a 39-year Channel League championship drought. 
DP shares the title with co-championship Santa Barbara High School. The team finished 16-2 overall with a new record and 7-1 in league. After sweeping three sets and only dropping one game, senior Mason Cassidy and teammate junior Joshua Wang have posted an incredible 44-1 record in doubles. Fantastic job, guys. DP is very, very proud of you. Last night, boys baseball absolutely rocked the Royals with a 6-4 win. Pitcher Daniel Brado struggled at the start, but saved the game pitching six innings and hitting two running scores singles to lead the Chargers to a 6-4 win. Brado retired 11 straight batters after the rough start. They're now 6-1 in league and head to face the 5-2 Buena Bulldogs tomorrow for the first place showdown. Volleyball secured second place in the Channel League with a sweep over Buena on Tuesday night. The scores were 25-17, 25-18, and 25-12. Center Mark Raphael handed out 45 assists and, and served a well pace for the Chargers. Nate Holmes had 14 kills and Matt Sessler had 12 to lead our DP attack. Our boys are now 6-2 in league and head out to the non-league match against Simi Valley tomorrow. Girls softball returned in its winning ways this last Tuesday, blanking cross-down rivals 7-0 in a Channel League match game at home. The girls now lead the league with an impressive 8-1 record. Way to go, girls. Well, DP, that's all I have for your sports. I'm Nate Lara. Have a dandy day.